What's up guys, it's the only Ninja Wong, a Beardus and a Superhero Hat, bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel. And today is yet another video of the Avatar Month series that we're doing this month. And uh, I wanted to touch into and get into firebending a little bit because I love firebending. Everyone, everyone loves firebending. The bad guys are pretty cool, I gotta be honest. We will dominate the Earth! But in, I believe it was season two, Zuko shows us that he can make these daggers out of fire and they're super cool. I wanted some fire daggers when I was a kid, for sure. But instead of fire daggers, what I'm gonna be doing today is a review of this kunai dagger that you can get, links in the description, but definitely stick around to see how good this is for you. Now guys, if you go out and buy this knife, kunai, dagger, whatever you want to call it, uh, it's going to come in a case just like this with a little paracord at the end and your belt loops that you can strap your belt through there. Now you can choose to, you know, strap it to your belt and have it on your hip. or you can strap it around your neck and have it underneath your shirt. Now here's the thing, it doesn't come with straps that are long enough. And this, since this is just paracord, that's not a super big issue. Paracord's super cheap and you can just, you know, buy some more paracord to make yourself a necklace. But just know that this doesn't come necklace ready even though it would work because holding it upside down doesn't really come out like that. Like I can shake it around, run it around, doesn't really come out until you pull it out just like that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the knife. This knife is meant for throwing, hence why it's solid on the front and it's got these holes that are actually meant for uh, weight. It reduces the weight that it, this knife will have when flying through the air. That way it can spin it a lot better, it can throw a lot easier, fly through the air nicely, uh, all that fun stuff. Now I kinda suck at throwing knives. relatively, I'm not the greatest, but I was able to find my pattern and be able to get this to stick relatively often uh, compared to some of the other knives I've thrown. So in my opinion, this is great for throwing. You were also able to use this as a weapon or self-defense weapon, being able to hold it in your hand either up right side up for that stabbing motion or how I would choose this way down so you can get that blunt object for in and you can get that stabbing motion there. That's how I would use it. You can obviously hold it however you want to. It's a knife, it you know cuts things either way, but it is great for that because if you have it on your belt or as a necklace, you can quickly pull it out and have that ready to defend yourself. Now guys, here's the thing, this is going to be a relatively inexpensive knife for you to have and because of that it's going to be made with stainless steel. Now I know all you knife aficionados are losing your minds about how oh, bad stainless God. steel is but here's the thing as far as self-defense purposes this is excellent. You don't need some $60 uh, piece of equipment as a knife if you're just trying to protect yourself. You don't need something that will, you know, withstand, you know, generations and be passed down through generations. You don't need uh, Damascus steel just for a simple self-defense knife. That's just not how it is. And so, because you're not gonna be parrying other knives with this knife, because you're not gonna be uh, stabbing other metals and trying to, like, putting it, stress testing it, basically, if you're just trying to throw it into trees or defend yourself with it, this is ideal for that reason. You don't need, you know, these 60 and 70, even hundreds of dollars to spend on a knife that you're just gonna use for self-defense. You don't, you don't need that. And so for all of you guys that, you know, aren't knife aficionados, it's stainless steel. I don't know how much that'll mean to you, but for those of you that are, relax. Stainless steel is not that bad, it's okay. Now guys, if you are interested in buying this knife, this kunai, links are down in the description for you if you are interested in that at all. But um, regardless, definitely leave a like if you enjoyed this video and tell me what you think about it. If you honestly disagree with me about stainless steel, 
Let's talk about it in the comments. I would love to have that conversation in the comments with you guys. Before I let you guys go, I wanna make sure everybody knows I'm having a subscriber, a 25,000 subscriber giveaway, where I'm giving away not one, but two karambit blades uh, to two people, one on my Instagram and one on my YouTube. So if you are interested, links or not links, but information is down in the description on how you can be involved. Any comments on my videos from when I announced the giveaway to now is going to count to um, your position. So I could pick any video from when I announced the giveaway and to when you know the giveaway happens and pick someone and they could win it. Same with Instagram. If anyone wants to win, comment on one of my Instagram posts and you will be entered to win automatically. Just make sure you're subscribed and it will all go smoothly. Now, with all of that said, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja and I'm out.